So good day, party people in the place to be. Let's talk subsumption architecture. This is yet another way that you can use to describe a robot program and it's based on robot behaviors. A robot behavior is basically a combination of sensing and acting for a robot to do something for some time extended period, such as wall following, line following, obstacle avoidance, go to goal, etc. So we're going to design a robot today that has two behaviors. One of them is obstacle avoidance because we need the robot to move around the world safely and not hit things. And the other one is going to be light following. So in subsumption architecture, the most important layer is the bottom. That's obstacle avoidance. Priority one is do not hit anything. Then on top of that layer, we're going to put our light following behavior. So you inhibit and subsume layers in subsumption architecture, which basically means you take over inputs or you replace motor outputs when the higher priority layer is triggered. So as long as there's no obstacles around, the robot follows the light. But if you get near an obstacle, then that needs to take over and keep the motors from following the light to keep from hitting something. So now let's write the code. So the first thing we're going to do is open up SparkFun Inventors Kit version 4.1, the code for circuit 1C and the circuit for code 5C, and we're going to merge them together. 1C was the photoresistor and 5C was the autonomous robot. So the first thing I'm gonna copy over is photoresistor equals zero and threshold equals 750 and paste that at the top of my subsumption architecture code. Then I'm going to scroll down to the loop in 1C. There's nothing that I need to put in for the setup. And inside of the loop, I am going to copy over photoresistor equals analog read A0 and serial dot print LN photoresistor. So this is going to read my photoresistor data and print it to the serial monitor so that I can actually print that data along with the distance data. I will put it right underneath. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix our obstacle avoidance code. So we're going to change this to, if the distance is less than five, then we want the robot to back up. So we're going to have a stop, delay 200 and back up, and then we're going to close that brace. Then we're going to have else if, left parenthesis, the distance is less than 10, left brace, then we want the robot to turn, and I'm going to close that brace. So let's scroll down and keep going. So now in this code where it says else, if no obstacle drive forward, we're going to embed an if that says, if, instead of just having if drive forward, we're going to have a threshold. If our photoresistor is greater than our threshold, which is currently set to 750, then we want the robot to drive forward. And that's actually it for our code. To and in our next video, we are ready to test it out.